Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week episode I would like to go furthermore with testing of the fiberglass and I will proceed some bending test and also some breaking test for uh, fiberglass. So stay tuned. I would like to go furthermore with the bending test and for this I prepare a new uh, testing stand. And the idea is that I have the sample, then I have this um, mechanism that allow me to um, screw it on the sample. I'll put the sample over here and I'll connect it to the desk with two clamps, one on side, one on the other side, very nice and tight. And now I will try to add my weight, which is around 12 kilos, as you can see. So I'm very curious of if one of the sample it will break. The first sample is uh, polyester resin and two layers of oven roving. Now I'll disconnect everything and I will connect the next sample. I prepare sample number two as well, oven roving, oven roving, two layers and Finally, ester resin. In this case I was hearing some cracks and also I was seeing some delamination in this area over here. So I don't know what to think. First sample laminated with polyester resin it was, a, it po was performing a little bit better. Okay, I will prepare the next sample. In the second set of tests we have a combi mat, so one layer of chop it straight mat and one layer of oven roving. Also this case is performing very well. I mean I hear some small tension in the laminate but um, no the, the delamination as I can see. Maybe some small delamination here but it doesn't break as well so it performs quite well for only two layers. I'll go furthermore with the same uh, fiberglass 
chop string mat and also woven roving but laminating with vinyl ester resin second sample of the second set it's ready In this case, more cracks was hearing, but also it per performs well and didn't break. So until now, I don't have a sample to break. I will proceed with the third set of the samples. In the third set, we have chopped straight mud laminated with finely ester resin at first. Quite good. I will switch to the other sample. Second sample of the third set, which is tapestry mat, two layers, laminated with polyester. Resin. It looks that in this case polyester resin was performing better than the vinylester resin. I couldn't hear any cracks and I couldn't see any delamination yet. In the fourth set I prepared the core mat and chop a straight mat laminated with polyester resin. As you can see, this is the material that it was performing the worst until now. It was bending almost to 90 degrees. But as I said, the core mat doesn't give any strength to the laminate, but it gives instead wall thickness and more stiffness if this is laminated with choppy straight mat in between the layers. I prepared the second sample of the fourth set, which is choppy straight mat, core mat, laminated with, with Vinyl ester resin. This sample it was performing similar with the last one, 
but uh, instead I couldn't hear any cracks. But also it was bending at almost 90 degrees, so I don't know what to conclude in this situation. For the last set I prepare stitched uh, roving, which is 850 grams per square meter, and it's only one layer. Laminate it with polyester resin. So this material was bending at almost 90 degrees. I think it was reaching the biggest angle. I don't know what to believe, it was performing bad or good, but there were not too many cracks or too many delamination as I could hear. Now I have prepared the last sample which is stitched triaxial roving laminated with vinyl ester resin. So the last sample it was bending more than 90 degrees, it was uh, comporting the worst. And I think maybe from many of you this uh, episode is not satisfying and for that reason I will try to break them manually by hand. I will start from the end, so stitch it roving, 850 square, uh, grams per square meter laminated with vinyl ester resin it looks that it didn't break if I um, bend it one end to the other end triaxial mat roving stitch it laminated with polyester resin I have the same result Over roving, over roving, laminated with vinyl ester resin. You can hear the delamination. Yeah, it will crack. Yes, it was cracking. That's the first crack. Oven roving, oven roving, laminated with polyester resin. Oh, you could hear the cracks. And this is what actually happening. So the layer are starting to delaminate one from, from the other. Then we have Corey mat and Chopper straight mat. Yes, you can hear the delamination and the cracks, but it didn't break. Corey mat, Chopper straight mat, laminated with vinyl ester resin. Less cracks, less sounds, also didn't break. Chop a strain mat and oven roving laminated with polyester resin. Yes, it cracks. And here we have the best example of what's happening in the material. So basically, you can see how chop a strain mat 
was delaminated from the woven roving. Basically, the resin was separating from the woven roving. Then we have chopper strain mat woven roving laminated with polyester resin. You can hit the cracks and as well we have the same results. It starts to delaminate. And the last samples, last set of samples, this is chopper straight mat with chopper straight mat too. Two layers of 450 grams laminated with vinyl ester resin. Yes, you can hear the delamination, and I think it will have a crack. Yeah. And the last sample, two layers of choppy string mat laminated with polyester resin. There are some cracks, but not so fast, like, like vinyl yester resin. So this is it for today, guys. I hope you like it and enjoy this video. If you find it helpful, don't forget to subscribe. This will help me very much to continue. If you have other ideas of how to test fiberglass, um, write just in the comment section below. And that is everything. Thank you very much.